the people of Dursley Island will have no service whatsoever to the mainland, or the mainland have no service to the, to the island. Christ's issue, to be quite honest with you, the Dursley cable car has been in operation since uh, it was opened by the Din Taoiseach Jack Lynch in 1969. Um, and since 69 it's been operating several times a day, weather permitting obviously, uh, to and from for the, the sake of the residents of Dorsey Island, um, but also farmers who have from the mainland who have land on, on Dorsey Island goes in and out and they bring their ca- calves and cattle on the, on, the, on the cable car. Also you, you have the t- tourism aspect of the whole thing. Now the towers um, need um, uh, repair f- uh, following some storms and um, we're down to the situation that on the last day of this month, which is Thursday, from the first day of, of April, and it's, it's not going to be a fool's day joke, the people of Dursey Island will have no service whatsoever to the mainland. Or the mainland have no service to the, to the, to the island. And what I'm pleading with the ministers, there's a temporary solution being offered, uh, as is from last week. A price was put in by the local authority, something in the region of a quarter million is needed to keep a, a t- a put forward a temporary ferry service um, to the island and from the island um, for the 240 days that the cable car is closed. It's unfortunate the cable car is closing. You can nearly say hours from no contact. And, 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 and I still couldn't get an answer from Heather Humphreys other than she's looking into it and she's looking into it. And look, in fairness, uh, she only got the proposals at the end of last week. But, you know, if there was a service needed in the city today, it would be provided immediately at any cost. But uh, these, these people need the service immediately. It's a fabulous uh, t- tourist attraction, of course. Uh, um, a cable car uh, going across, probably none of its type in Ireland. But more than that, it's a, it's a vital service for farmers and it's a vital service for the residents. So I've been putting up, I think we, I've raised my brother, Councillor Denny Collins, and in fairness, Councillor Patrick George Murphy uh, of, of Castle Dunbar. I've been raising that issue and fighting for the people of the islands and fighting for the people um, of, of, of Castle Dunbar because it's a, it's, a, it's a huge tourist attraction that brings a lot of good revenue into the area.